how to add specific calendly event invitees to monday.com automatically so i'm using calendly for managing all my events and monday.com for managing whole projects and i want that whenever any new invitee is created in calendly for my scheduled event that invitee should be created as an item in monday.com so that me and my team can easily access the invitee details directly from the monday.com software itself and then further we can contact the that person anytime very easily so if you also want to sync your invitee details with the monday.com application then come with me and i will show you everything step by step so this is my calendly application and this is monday.com application in order to automatically sync all the invitee details with the monday.com i'll have to first build an integration in both the applications and i am going to do that with the pavli connect which is an integration and automation software and i am an existing user so i am already logged in you can also create your free account in pavli connect in just 2 minutes from the sign up free button and in the free account you will also get free task to test this automation now once you will reach to the dashboard click on this blue button that is create workflow and then provide a random name to your workflow to your automation i have provided the name as add specific calendly event invitees to monday.com okay now simply click on create and after that you will notice two boxes in front of you okay so these are actually trigger an action okay and here the trigger means when this happens an action means do this so whenever this happens then automatically do this try to understand with an example also let's say whenever a sale happen in a payment gateway application then automatically send an email via gmail application to your customers okay so this is how you need to always select the applications in which you are building an automation okay so here according to our use case whenever any invitee is created into this calendly application for my scheduled events then automatically create that invitee as an item in monday.com application okay so that is why i am going to select both the applications in this trigger and the action window okay so i have selected the same now the idea here is i am going to connect both the applications one by one with the pavli connect okay so let us connect calendly with the pavli connect okay so firstly i will select the trigger even that is invitee created yes i want that whenever any new invitee is created in calendly this automation should trigger okay so i have selected the same clicking on connect clicking on add new connection simply click on connect with the calendly and if you are already logged in into your calendly account the calendly account will be immediately connected with the pavli connect without even asking for any access here you can notice the authorization is successful and because we are connected here you can see that it has automatically fetched the organization and the user details okay now simply select uh, simply click on the save and set send test request button i'm really sorry for that simply select the save and send test request button and then you will notice that calendly will start waiting for the response all right so here you can notice it is waiting for the response okay you can even read the instructions once you have clicked over the save and send test request button then do a test submission or record in that uh, application in order to capture the response here okay so basically it is asking to do a test submission or record and here the test submission or record means creation of a new invitee in calendly okay so let me take you first to the calendly application and i am going to create a new invitee in front of you and don't worry this invitee is going to be a dummy user with some dummy details okay so i am booking this particular appointment for this 22nd of july let's say i selected the timing as 9 am and simply going to provide some dummy details like the demo user and then demo at the rate pavlitutes.com is going to be the email address of the person and again i am going to provide some dummy phone number also okay so i have provided all the the details all the dummy details clicking on the schedule button and here you can notice that my appointment has been booked basically the invitee has been created for this particular event okay coming back to pavli connect and waiting for the response okay uh, fingers crossed and let us check whether the response is received or not and here you can see that the response is received okay so let me show you the details one by one here we have the url here we have the 
created date here we have the same email address the dummy email address here we have the same name of the person the phone number of the person let me also show you the event name which was uh, astrology booking something related to that appointment booking for horoscope okay let me show you appointment booking for horoscope reading and we even have the timing the same timing well it is not the same timing you can notice we have booked the appointment for 9 am but here we have captured the timing of 3 30 pm because this timing is actually into the utc format basically the timings are same but the only difference is of the time zone don't worry we can easily convert this utc time zone into our local time zone okay so we have captured all the details okay so the presence of this data clearly shows that uh, the connection in between our calendly account and pably connect is working absolutely fine okay and now onwards what will happen every time any new invitee is created into calendly dashboard doesn't matter for this particular event or for this particular event the details of that person will be captured via public connect instantly because this trigger will instantly capture the new incoming data and the workflow execution will start in real time okay so the first step of our automation is done now i am going to connect monday.com with the public connect so, so simply select the action event that is create item because i want to do the same okay simply click on connect button then click on add a new connection and for the connection it is asking for the api token okay so how you can get this token well the instructions are already mentioned let me first take you to the dashboard of monday.com click on this profile section then click on this administration section then you will find an option of api under the left hand side okay basically add the left hand side and here exactly you can find your token okay so i have already generated this token so instead of regenerating this i will directly copy the same okay going back here basically coming back to the pably connected dashboard let me paste the same clicking on save and this is how the authorization will be successful and my monday.com application will be connected with the pably connect now here you can notice since we are connected whatever the boards are available inside my monday.com whatever the groups are available inside the boards everything have started visible here okay so i am going to select which board and group let me show you i have created this particular board the name of the board is all business leads okay so let me select the same in pably connect wet well it is already selected and in the group i have created this all business leads basically appointment booking of astrology okay so let me select the same well again you can notice we have a single group only so again it has got selected on automatically now it is asking for the item name the name and for the other details okay so i am going to provide the data only into the important and in the required fields okay so let's say it is asking for the item name which is required okay so i am going to add the email address in this item name okay and the interesting thing is i don't need to manually copy the data from my previous step and paste it here okay i am going to map this data okay and mapping is very simple you just need to click on this field and you will find the above data here in the drop down but here we have an interesting twist the first twist is i don't want to create the items for all the event invitees yes i want that whenever anyone is booking for this specific event only those invitees should be created into monday.com as an item okay so i will have to specifically define somewhere in this automation because whatever i have set right now in this automation how exactly it is going to execute whenever any new invite is created into your calendly account okay this specific account okay so here i have two events okay so what will happen pably connect is going to capture the invitee details of all the events okay so don't worry let it capture all the details because after this step we are going to specify a condition with the help of filter which is an amazing feature of pably connect via which you can apply different kind of conditions within your workflow within your automation okay so in this select label you will have to select the event name and here you can notice it is the same calendly data which is visible here in the drop down 
okay so let me first search for the event name which was something appointment booking for astrology yes it is the same that is appointment booking for horoscope reading astrology okay coming back and here i will specify that whenever this particular label is actually equal to this okay uh, so what will happen when i'll click on the save and send request button this condition is going to be either true or false okay so in true case if this condition is true this automation should proceed further and it should create the item in monday.com and if this condition is false this automation will stop here only okay so let me first specify the name okay so remember we have captured the name of this event how about i directly copy the name from here only okay make sure that spelling the text should be exact otherwise what will happen your condition will be false only because of small spelling error okay so i have specified the same and when i will save and send a test request you will notice that it the condition will be true because currently the event for which we have captured the invitee details that event is actually this only okay so the condition is true in that case my automation should proceed and it should create an item okay so let me provide the email address and the interesting thing is again as i have told you i am going to map this data but currently this data is not visible here in the drop down okay so what i can do is i can simply click on this connect button once again and click on save so this is how my automation will be refreshed and this is how the new data will appear here in the drop down okay so let me show you that here you can notice that the new data is visible let me map the email address of the person which was something okay so how about i directly search it with the help of email address well this is the search bar make sure you search the values here only okay so i have mapped the email address now it is asking for the name of the person so let me also search for the name which was something like demo user okay so i have mapped it now you must be thinking that what is this map okay so whatever the details i am mapping here these details will be replaced automatically when this automation will work in real time or in next time yes these details will be replaced automatically and just in case if i will provide any value manually this detail will remain same for every single person for every single item okay so this is the difference in between mapping and providing the values mapping and that is why mapping plays a major role inside this automation and this is how this automation is going to take place now it is asking for the booking date and time okay but in place of directly mapping the same date which we have captured remember we have captured the start date as 3:30 but i have scheduled this automation for 9 am okay so i can simply convert this timing from utc to local time zone for that i will simply click on this plus icon and search for the date and time format of feature all right i have selected the same again it is an amazing feature of pabli connect via which you can apply different kind of operations within your dates okay so let me select this format date with the time zone okay simply click on connect and it is connected now provide the date which you would like to format so again i am going to provide the date from this calendly data let me search for that created time which was all right so here we have the date and time asking for the from format and the to format okay so how about i first select the to format so i want the date and time into the simpler format something like this for yyyymmdhhmmss okay so i have selected the same asking for the from format okay so i think the from format is same you, you can even notice that this date is actually into the yymmdd then t H H M M S S and Z format, and it is the same format. That is Y Y Y Y M M D D T. Then H H M M S S Z. Okay, so I think. everything is provided every data has been selected simply asking for the from time zone and to time zone okay so here i will select the timing as asia slash kolkata and in the from time zone i will search for the utc okay so clicking on this button fingers crossed and waiting for that date to be changed and here
here you can see we have received the exact date and time of the event which I can easily map here okay and again if I will click on this field you will notice that the recent data is not visible here okay so I just need to refresh this automation but if I will refresh it my step will disappear okay so I can do one more thing simply click on connect and then click on save and this is how monday.com will be connected with Pabli connect my automation will be refreshed and now the fresh data the latest latest data I'm sorry for that the latest data will also be visible here okay so simply map this date clicking on this button save and send test request and this time I'm really expecting to create an item into the monday.com well here you can notice that the response is received let us check our monday.com application and here you can see that the same person has been created in monday.com the email address is demo at the date pebblitudes.com here we have the booking date and time well i'm sorry i think there is some issue we have the phone number okay i'll have to update it once again okay let me do that Alright, so coming back to Pabli Connect dashboard, well, I think instead of providing the name in this field, I should provide the name in this field. Okay, so demo user and I'm really not sure. I think one name field is actually the default name field provided by the monday.com and one I have created by my own. Okay, so clicking on this button once again and fingers crossed once again, waiting for the response. And here you can see again the response is received and yes currently we have the name of the person the email address of the person and the phone number now but now why this date is not created how about I firstly check the type of this column okay alright so I have recreated this column with the name booking date and time coming back to Pabli connect and here I have first refreshed this particular section and have uh, mapped the value once again clicking on this button and let us check whether this time the date is getting updated as an item in monday.com or not Alright, so the response is received and yes, you can see that the booking date is also updated. The phone number is also updated. The name and the email address is also updated. How about I delete the existing data? Okay, so the presence of this data clearly shows that the connection in between Calendly and Monday.com is working absolutely fine. Okay, so now onwards what will happen? every time any new invitee is created specifically for this particular event those event details will be updated automatically into monday.com in this specific board and in this specific group okay and to automate this whole process simply create this automation inside Pabli connect once after that you can sit back and relax because Pabli connect will take care of all the tasks in the back end you do not have to do anything manually and just in case if you want to access this four step automation inside your Pabli Connect account, I will also attach this link into my description box. Okay, so you just need to click on that link and sign up into the Pabli Connect, and then you will be able to access this workflow, this automation inside your Pabli Connect account that too for free. Not just these applications, you can integrate multiple applications and automate your business with Pabli Connect. You can ask your queries at forum.pabli.com. My team will surely answer to your questions. This is the website of Pabli Connect and for the latest updates of Pabli Connect and unique automation ideas, you can join our Facebook group that is formget.deals. If you have found this video helpful in any way, share it with your friends and colleagues and also help them to automate their business. Like, share and subscribe. Thank you for watching this video.